For Pong's 45th anniversary, they are selling the greatest Pong arcade ever created. And the Carol Burnett Show's 50th anniversary show is this weekend. And also, Netflix has an 80s toy show coming out this month. So stay tuned for that and a lot more. What up to my peoples? Welcome back to Retro Crunch, your nostalgia news show that's all about current pop culture, movies, music, and games that relates to all things 70s, 80s, and 90s. Got a ton of stuff to cover, so let's get started right now. First, we're going to go into some retro gaming news. Y'all remember Pong, right? It was created way back in 1972 by Atari, and it was the first ever commercially successful arcade game and helped start the video game industry. Well, fast forward to the 29th of November, which marks Pong's 45th anniversary and to celebrate the event Atari is releasing the mother of all coffee tables with a live-action Pong arcade table now this isn't your old man's table we're talking about a table that has moving physical blocks that are bouncing back and forth across the table sort of like a real ping pong game go figure right this is a playable real-life homage to one of the first ever video games it's disguised as a multifunctional coffee table and who would want that Along with being a Pong table that uses magnets underneath to control the cube, it will also feature four USB ports, a digital clock, and even the ability to play music on its Bluetooth. The table has a minimalized design and a huge heart, and I love it. Although it's being sold at first through a Kickstarter, it's licensed by Atari, so I'm sure in the future it will make it into retail stores eventually. If you're interested in the Pong table, I'll link to the Kickstarter down below where it all started. Then, just found out this week, the Atari box finally released pics of its new joystick. I mentioned it in a previous video that I thought it might look like the old Atari joystick, and I guess I was right. If you want to see that video, it's right up there. I like this new controller and the homage to the original Atari style, but if they don't have also a Xbox style controller, they're really asking for some trouble. Also guys, you got to check out this video that I found of a home video of an 80s kid that's getting a Nintendo for Christmas. The video and all the 80s nostalgia in the room is priceless, and I'll link to that down below. And now for some TV entertainment news. Netflix, man, they're pulling on my heartstrings, guys. They have a new original series called The Toys That Made Us that's coming out December 22nd. It's going to feature the most iconic and popular toys that the 80s kids loved and coveted. And it's an 8 episode docuseries that will cover one toy each episode. And it will include great toy lines like G.I. Joe, the Transformers, Barbies, and He-Man. And according to their Facebook page, they're going to be traveling around the world to feature some of the toy collections that people have. I think Netflix is going to do great things with this one. Also, this Sunday, December 3rd, the Carol Burnett 50th Anniversary Show will air at 8, 7 central on CBS. I loved watching her growing up, and I hope to see her and her old friends do a few new skits for us on the special. Don't miss it, guys. I'm sure it's going to be fun to watch. And I wanted to mention Jim Neighbors, also known as the funny man Gomer Pyle, died yesterday at the age of 87. I have nothing but good memories of him, and he was a great guy to watch growing up. I'll probably go check out some of his old Gomer Pyle episodes after the show. And next up in retro music news, some of y'all might remember the Eurythmics and singer Annie Lennox from the 80s and 90s. She put out hits like Sweet Dreams and Walking on Broken Glass. And she won four Grammys and even got an MTV Music Award in 1992. Well, she is about to become a university chancellor for Glasgow Caledonian in England. Not a bad gig, and I'm sure that the students are going to love having a rock goddess at the university. Talk about School of Rock, right? And then, on this day in history, in 1989, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation was released in theaters. I love this movie and watched it pretty much every year during the holidays. I'm sure I'll watch it this year, too. Oh yeah, almost forgot. The original Gerber Baby just turned 91. So, happy birthday, Ann Turner Cook. And that's all the retro news that I have for you this week. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on all the retro stuff that we talk about every Monday and Friday. All right, retro heads, I hope you enjoyed the show, and I'll see you in the next video. And remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.